Bienvenidos, bienvenidas, welcome to our channel, Aportes Afrocostarricenses y Diaspóricos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Dr. Diana Senior Angulo and myself, Carmen Hutchinson Miller, are pleased to introduce to you our special guest who will be sharing relevant information about the commemoration of Emancipation Day in the Caribbean. Let me give you some information about our guest. Edita Nancy J Ferguson Jacobs has celebrated 45 years as a graduate teacher and specialist lecturer in Caribbean history, culture, and African art history. She is author of the book, Full Steam Ahead, Locating the Barbados Landship. Dr. Jacob spent seven years in Grenada, where she has she was employed as a senior lecturer. At present, she is an independent scholar who does lectures and curates an African art and culture and aspects of the African heritage in the Caribbean. She is now semi-retired. June C. Coffee is a lecturer in psychology at the University of the West Indies Cave Hill Campus. She is a former head of the Institute for Gender and Development Studies, Nita Barrow Unit, and served as chair for National Advisory Council on Gender, Ministry of Family, Youth, Sports, and Environment in Barbados between 2008 and 2012 and more recently from 2016 2018 under the ministry of social care constituency empowerment and community development she is currently the coordinator for the msc applied psychology in the department of government sociology so social work and psychology in the faculty of social sciences sciences at uekville campus she has been the faculty liaison mm -hmm. officer for the UWE University of California Education Abroad Program since July 2007. She has She's published up. in a number of journals and edited them. Now we will continue with the presentation of Dr. Ferguson Jacobs. Well, first of all, we are supposed to be looking at emancipation and i would like to use uh, from the a citation of the work explaining what is emancipation and so i will be able to tell you a bit more about about emancipation we, we start mainly by looking at emancipation as being an action it is the action taken really and truly to to end slavery e emancipation is the time when the slaves were given their freedom and uh, of course in the british colonies this was done on the 1st of August, 1838. I, I am not sure if many people are aware that the French were actually the first in the Caribbean to be given uh, their freedom. And that would have been in 1793. Um, yes, 1793. But then that was taken back and they didn't get their freedom until they fought for it and that would would have been on the desilines and christophe and them in 1803 the spanish then would have been the last of of the, the colonizers in the caribbean to give their freedom we, we, we are at that aspect of of it um of understanding what is emancipation that is being freed by by the 
colonizers for peoples of, of, of from the French islands, the British, uh, and the Spanish. Now, why do we celebrate it? Because especially in today's world, when we are looking at what is happening even in the United States, and we are seeing the heavy weight on with people with knees on people's necks, we realize that this thing called emancipation or freedom is a, just a word. It's not an action. And there's so much more that needs to be done to ensure that peoples have their freedom, their liberty. And it is very important that we emphasize this. It is a time that we, we will now be saying Black Lives Matter. That might end up being the, the, the motto or something at, from this period um, to explain a lot more of what is really to be done because it's not, of, it's not finished. We are now in a stage of, of looking at how we can really make this thing become a legal and kept legal. Why do we celebrate it? It is a time that we remember how many years, how many years our ancestors worked under these conditions. Heavy burdens of just work, work, work. And we have to say we are thankful and we have to show some kind of appreciation for those who walk this road. There were a lot of them who lost their lives before they left Africa, before they reached to the Caribbean. Many of them died and, and went overboard um, in, the, in the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. So that is a place where many people go to pour libation, to give honor to those who died that were in the sea. So there are numbers of different types of, of ways people do commemorate their ancestors. Um, how it is done in some places like Barbados, many, there are many groups that walk in Barbados, I believe this year, there were maybe about two different groups. So they gather at Busa's statue in Haggett, at the top there in Haggett Hall, and many people then walk. And uh, that would be a, a ceremonial type of remembrance day for our ancestors. There's, some, there's another group that is walking from Jubilee Gardens, which is in, in Bridgetown, and they will walk on, and go to Brown's Beach. When they get to the beach, then they would give, you know, um, again, they will have a special service there by the water's edge, pouring uh, libations even for the water and asking the mother, the mother, the sea, to um, care our ancestors until we also join them. After looking at the whole idea of emancipation, you will see that there are many other, there are many other places who celebrate differently. Trinidad will celebrate and, and the ladies and gentlemen, you see them in their traditional African wear, really coming out and the drummers and everybody taking part. And, and it is really a sight to see, really from, from Trinidad. Um, in places like Grenada, uh, they usually have um, a special a special day where they will have um, a speaker come in 
and they do a lecture and uh, then they might even end if, you know in the park or something with music with musicians and dancers and everything coming to do their bit in in costa rica it is it is something that is lately been celebrated uh, and it is celebrated by um, specific groups of people who have certain awareness but it is not like a national celebration uh, or a popular celebration like you have it in the caribbean okay mm -hmm.